about a week ago, um, I got a request to make a couple of um, IRs to basically convert the sound of single coils to humbuckers and humbuckers to single coils. And I did a little blog write-up about it, um, and I came up with two IRs, and it was just my first attempt, or actually my second attempt, my first attempt was a total fail. Uh, and they actually came out okay, um, but when I did them, I used a neck single coil and a bridge humbucker on the same guitar, and it was sort of kind of converting the sounds of those two. Um, today, I want to do um, a little bit something a little bit different. Um, I want to A, show you how I made those IRs, and I want to also use, um, I'm going to use a Strat with a bridge humbucker, uh, the bridge single coil, and then uh, another Strat I have with a bridge humbucker. Uh, and we'll see if we can create something that comes out somewhat believable um, uh, in terms of an IR. So the way I do these, the way I did the last ones, was I went to, of course, my favorite program with the Logic here. Um, and I have a track in here called Humbucker to Strat. Um, if you watch my other videos, I've done a couple of these recently, um, you see how I have my routing set up with the Helix. I'm not really going to go into that too much. Um, but what I have set up in this channel strip here, this one's the first channel, it's called Humbucker to Strat. And I have my favorite program, my current new favorite program, which is um, Match EQ. And if we go into Match EQ, um, what we have, again, it's the, we have current file, reference file, and that creates an EQ curve to blend the two. So what I've done now is I've taken, I've just basically played my guitar into this. Um, what I have to do in order to make this work though, is I have to go to HX Edit, and I have to turn this onto my guitar input. Okay, so there we go. Now this will work. So match EQ, and if you look, now I've already stored these in here, so I'm gonna spare you. I just basically barred across the strings and went up and down the guitar a few times until I basically had the whole guitar kind of put in there. You do it a bunch of times, go back and forth a few times until you see this, the curve stop moving. So I did this one with the humbucker and then this one with the single coil. So again, if you'll remember, it takes your current file and then it takes your reference file and it applies an EQ curve to make the current file sound like the reference file. So this is the EQ curve it came up with. Again, there's smoothing options on here. I'm going to make this pretty articulate sounding because I want the big dynamics in this. So, I did that, and then on, on the reference file, I, I used my Strat with the, uh, with the bridge single coil. So we have two very different sounds. And I'm going to go back into HX Edit really quickly change this back to USB 3. What we're going to do real quick now is we're going to sweep these into IRs. So let me go and launch my impulse response utility, put on a test tone, and I've got my tone so we know this is working and I know because I fiddled with this before I started making the video so we're not screwing with all day, I know that this has to be at about minus 35. Minus 35.8 is where I had it last time. Okay, so otherwise it clips. So now we're going to arm the track to record, and we're going to press sweep, and we're going to get our impulse response. And even there, it clipped a tiny, tiny bit, but we're going to let this go. All right, so we're going to name this. We're going to call this hum to strat, and press save. Okay, now we're going to press deconvolve. Comes an impulse. There's a little impulse thing. We'll zoom in on this. Let's see what we get. Okay. Alright, so then we're going to crop it from right about here to right about there. And we'll press crop, press create setting, hum the strat, press OK, created the file, memory path. OK, we're done with this one now. Let's go file, 
Just because we know we're going to have to do this. New. Don't save. Okay. That's okay. Mono. Okay. Shrink this back down. We go back into logic. We're going to mute this track. We're going to switch to this track. Okay. And again, same thing I did in this one. Again, this time I played the Strat first. And I played the Humbucker second. And this is the EQ curve it came up with to match the two. Okay. So we're all set there. And now we're going to go back into Impulse Response Utility. And I know I have to change this back up to minus 25.8. 20, 25, 24, 20, 5.8. Arm for recording. Press sweep. And down she goes. Okay. Okay, we'll call this one strat to hum. Press save. Press deconvolve. Trim it up. Just like the last one. Make sure that even on both sides. Looks pretty good. Crop. Create setting. Okie dokie smokey. Press OK. And we have created two SDIR files now. Cancel. Shrink this down. We'll open up Audacity, which is apparently I closed it. I gotta open this up. Okay. Open up Audacity. Okie dokie. File. Open. I hum to strat. SDIR. Press open. Okay. File. Save other. Export as wave. Save. Okay. Out it goes. Next. File. Open. Strat to hum. Open. Okay. File. Export as wave. Save. Okay. And out goes that one. Okie dokie. So. Let's close this up. Let's go into our Helix. Okay, so I'm going to go into HX Edit. And I go to my Impulses. And I've loaded these up into 36 and 37. 36 is hum to strat, and 37 is strat to hum. And I've got a patch set up here with a jazz rivet and an impulse that I can, it's on a foot switch. I can switch it in and out. All right, so we've got the hum to strat one loaded up, and this is the humbucker guitar we recorded it with. And here is the, the pickup without the impulse response. <laughs> Pulse response on. With it off. Back on. Fairly believable. Let's take the other one and let's go the other way. So now I'm going to put the humbucker guitar down. I'm going to pick up the strat guitar. Plug the Strat guitar in, and we're going to switch this to Strat to Hum. I'm going to turn it off, and I'm on the bridge pickup, same guitar I recorded the impulse with. I'm going to turn it on. And there you have it. 